Yoo-hoo, it's Cindy Lou Who, and welcome to my podcast. I've been getting a lot of comments lately asking about Mr. Grinch and how his life got turned around. There has been a lot of versions of the story that have been told over the years. But on today's episode of the Cindy Lou Podcast, I want to give you the real story. It all started 15 years ago when I was just getting started with my YouTube channel. Here's the story of how the Grinch found Jesus. Okay, get in line. It's almost time for rehearsal. Is everybody ready? It was a silent night, it was a holy night, in a manger Christ was born. The night the angels sing, the night the shepherds bring the worship to the Lord. There was a star above, over the sun above, it was a blessed sign. And those three wise men started the journey when God's love began to shine. The holidays are here, we're full of Christmas cheer. Eleven months we all have waited. All the shopping's done, all the stockings hung, all the trees are decorated. All of our Christmas lights are hanging oh so right. We love this blessed time. But what matters most is that from coast to coast, God's love begins to shine. Shooby doo bop 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 shoo bop. 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 Great job, kids. That was fantastic. Christmas is only three days away. Remember to keep on practicing. Dismissed. Yoo-hoo, it's Cindy Woo-hoo, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I came to tell you how I learned the true meaning of Christmas. It all started when I was on a mission to spread Christmas cheer to all those in need. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Peace out! <laughs> oh my! Somebody call 911. <laughs> hey, mister, are you okay? Hey, mister, that wasn't very nice of you. Oh, beat it, kid. You're gonna blow my cover. Uh, wait, are you the... Uh, no, no, the Grinch! Uh-oh. Oh, hi, Martha May. Oh, Max, our cover's blown. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. The Grinch! <laughs> the Grinch! <laughs> the Grinch! Hey, hey, hey! The mayor is trying to speak! Thank you. <laughs> you are. Please, do not panic. There is no need to be scared. There is no Grinch problem here. Now, please. Let's continue to prepare for Christmas. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. oh okay. Oh, thank you. Dad? What is it, Cindy? Why is the Grinch so mean? Oh, uh, oh the, the Grinch? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the Grinch. Well, uh, well, for one thing, he's not exactly a who. He, he's really more of a... Uh, a what? Exactly. He's a what who just doesn't like Christmas. Why? Oh, actually, dear, could you give me a hand here? Uh, yes, dear, I I'm coming. Uh, but to answer your question, Cindy, uh, I think it's probably because Ooh. the Grinch didn't get many Christmas presents as a child. Oh. Why? Well, uh, 
now, now that's a good one. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't really know. Lou, Lou, the guest. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Uh, come on, Cindy, give me, give me. Let's help your mother with these gifts. You take that one. All snuggled and tucked into bed, I couldn't get all of my questions out of my head. I knew I had seen his grinchy face before, but exactly where I'd seen it, I couldn't be sure. And then I remembered that wretched smile, those crooked teeth, that mangy hair, in my parents' old yearbook that's kept by the stairs. So I grabbed that old yearbook and flipped through the pages, and dust flew around the room. It hadn't been opened in ages. And finally, there he was, that mean old Grinch, in grade one with Miss Hooper, next to Barnum and Finch. So I came up with a plan called Operation Cheer to help Mr. Grinch for Christmas was near, and I knew where to start to discover more of his past with Miss Hooper, who had last seen him in class. Mrs. Hooper, what can you tell me about the Grinch? Well, he was green, oh, but you already knew that. Uh, let's see, the Grinch was a kind kiddo but the other kids didn't play too well with him, so he mostly stayed to himself. I remember the day he changed. Okay, class, as you know, Christmas is almost here. So with that being said, it's time for our gift exchange. Okay, let's start with you, Lou. Open your gift. Cool, I got stamps. Maybe one day I can be a mailman. Very nice. Okay, Rudy Huliani, you can open yours now. No way! I got the Book of Who. What are you gonna do with that? It doesn't even have pictures and you can't read. I'm gonna be mayor someday, and you lie. That's a good goal, Rudy. You're next, Martha May. A microphone. I'm gonna, when I grow up, I'm gonna be just like Whitney Houston. Grinch, do you like Whitney Houston? Huh? Do you like Whitney Houston? I don't know. Who is she? You don't know who Whitney Houston is? What planet are you from? That's enough, class. Grinch, you can open yours now. because he's six years old and he already has a beard. Oh. <laughs> I hate Christmas! <laughs> and no one has seen his handsome face ever since. Good riddance. No one needs that kind of negativity around besides. He was so green and, and hairy and yucky. I know he was beautiful. <laughs> you just excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. I better go check on her. Poor Mr. Grinch. Cindy Woohoo, and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's now day three of Operation Cheer. My mission to cheer up the Grinch. Today is the day that we nominate the holiday cheermeister, and I have a great idea in mind. I'll let you all know how it goes. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Peace out! Well, it's that time. Everybody's favorite moment is time to nominate a holiday jubilation cheermeister! Uh, holiday jubilation cheermeister? <laughs> All right. Do I hear any nominations? I nominate the Grinch! 
My, my Lou. <laughs> Your daughter is a little hooligan. What? No. From her mother's side. Cindy, the Grinch can't be the cheermeister. Why not? Well, uh, because the Grinch is awfully mean and, mm -hmm. and, and smelly mm -hmm. and an and ugly shade of green, not really a Christmas green, and he hates everyone. That's why he lives up on top of Mount Crumpet all alone. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, sir, but I, I, I don't see any harm in, in, in giving it a try. Yeah, it sounds like he needs to experience true joy. Yeah, the right, Grinch honey. needs Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Christmas. You think the Grinch should get presents and happiness? Mm. No, no, no. Why not? Because he hates Christmas and all the who's. Uh, but, sir, uh, but couldn't that change if, if he were to experience a, a tr true Christmas cheer, sir? Uh, well, I suppose we can make the offer. We'll send an official who invitation. In fact, I'll handwrite the letter myself. <laughs> Grinch can't even read. <laughs> but if he refuses to show, then well, I would just wear the crown in his place. Yeah. All right, Yay. remember to mail in your votes and use our always reliable voting machine, donated by the very generous, and don't forget, handsome, me. Yeah. Y'all, remember to vote. Oh, hey. Come on, honey, we gotta go vote. <laughs> well, Max, that was so fun. <sighs> Messing with those who's is always such a delight. <laughs> you know, Max, I have no idea why we ever leave this place. We have everything we need right here. Hello! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's right, Max. Everything we could possibly ever need in life is right here. Yep. Hey, Max. Remember when we went to Whoville and we tripped that one who and he went sprawling all over the floor and we laughed at him and got injured? <laughs> that was so fun. We should, uh, we, we should do that again tomorrow. You've got mail. What's this? Max, what did you do? What have we here? Hmm. Wait a minute. I can't read this. There's no pictures. Can you read that, Max? No. Excuse me. I'm Cindy Lou Who. Well, hello, Cindy Lou. How dare you enter the land, the Grinch? You're all alone. And so small. Aren't you scared? No. <laughs> she thinks she's not scared, man. But we'll show her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a psycho. Somebody call the mental ward because there's been an escape. I'm a psycho. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have such a huge headache. What is the matter with kids nowadays? She actually believes what she says. That's different. And refreshing. What do you want? Did you read the invitation the mayor sent you? An invitation? Is that what this is? Well, I could read it if it had pictures. So, what's your try? We want you to be our holiday hubilation cheermeister. Holiday hubi whaty? Holiday Hubilation Cheermeister. They want me? <laughs> Jim Carrey, eat your heart out. <laughs> okay, fine. When's the party? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? But what? 
What am I going to wear? See you tomorrow, Mr. Grinch. Good luck. See you tomorrow, Mr. Grinch. Good luck. What an annoyingly cute kid. Did you hear what she said, Max? They want me to be their holiday hubilation cheermeister. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I hope I didn't seem too eager in front of Shindy Lou. But Martha May will be there. <laughs> but no, no, absolutely not. I won't do it. Okay, fine, Max, I'll do it if you insist. Oh, but I don't have to like it. I don't like candy, but my mom always made me eat that. Hey, you, you think that's why I have so many cavities? <laughs> well, having a cavity is like having a belly button in your mouth, only without the lint. I rose from my bed with a smile. I thought I had convinced the Grinch, which hadn't been done in a while. And so like a flash, I hopped out of bed with visions of Cheermeister Grinch dancing in my head. All right. All right, gather around, gather around. Come on, news, let's go. Let's go, come on, come on. Gather around, gather around. I don't have all day. <laughs> let's go, let's go, chop, 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 chop. All right. Citizens of Whoville, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the 173rd Annual Hoobalation! Yes, yes, yes. Now, normally the hoopalation is paid for by all of your outrageous taxes, but this year the entire event is sponsored by law offices of Warren Wiggins and Waddle uh, Who. Uh, 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 great mayor, sir. So sorry. They actually canceled because you called them a couple of plain belly smooches. Okay. Oh, well, I really need them to cover the cost of my private jet so I could parachute down to begin the hubilation with some much mm. needed pizzazz. Yes. Instead I have to walk here like a common who. Oh, such a shame. <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, yes. Welcome to the 173rd annual hubilation sponsored by your outrageous taxes, but if you look around at all the many expensive and state-of-art decorations, I am sure you agree with me that they were worth every penny. Mm -hmm. And we can't get this party started without this year's holiday trip, Meister. Martha, would you please come and present my, I mean, the award? <laughs> Every year, the Holiday Cheermeister is someone who embodies the spirit of celebration and joy of Who's of all over the world. This year, we had several wonderful nominees. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentle Who's, boys and girls of all ages, Welcome to the 173rd Annual Hoobalation! We are excited to present this year's Holiday Cheermeister nominees. Up first, a Who molds the minds of young Who's and always does it with a smile. New phone, Who Dis? Next, when there's someone cheerful in your neighborhood, you'll most likely call Who You Gonna Call. Thirdly, a lot of who say that she's the very best Christmas tree decorator in town. Says who? And now, the goat of all cheermeisters, past, present, and future. The holliest, the jolliest, everyone's favorite dinner guest. The who's who of all who's, the 27-time cheermeister champion, Mayor Rudy Giuliani. And finally, wait, is this a joke? This can't be right. Um, <clears throat> he's, uh, he's known for being mean, and he's disgustingly green. The Grinch! Once again, here are your 173rd Annual Holiday Cheermeister nominees. Let's hear for our nominees. <laughs> now, after tying all your votes, it's become apparent that there's a special someone that we all know who deserves this award. 
someone in the town who longs to embrace, someone who commands respect, and someone who is also quite handsome and charming. So the holiday chairmeister for the 173rd annual jubilation goes to the Grinch. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. You really wanted to have this this year, didn't you? Well, too bad. It's mine. I won. Fair and square, you sore loser. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm not one for giving speeches, especially not positive ones. I don't know what to say. Being cheerful really isn't my thing. But it is a great honor on this day to take this award out of the grubby little hands of the mayor. And that my rugged good looks are finally being appreciated. A big congratulations to this year's cheermeister. And now, as always, it's time for the festivities to begin. <laughs> Let us start with the much needed reunion. She taught you, she helped mold you into the big green party day. It's my old teacher. It's their current. And most important, your old is Cooper. Oh no! We missed you so much! This is really gonna bother You're me. still living? <laughs> Get off of me! Boundaries, woman! Get! Oh, it's time for the cheermeister to ride the cheer of cheer! <laughs> uh -huh. The chair of cheer? Please, uh, no. Yeah, you didn't tell me about the chair of cheer. Please, Mr. Grinch. We'll put your taste buds to the test as you judge the Who Pudding Cook Off! Yes, the Who Pudding Cook Off! <laughs> no, 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 please, please. I don't. Pudding, 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 pudding. And now it's time for the first judge! Woo the first judge! Go, girl! No, 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 fudge. <laughs> Christmas Congo Okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm dizzy. Now you put this here star on that there tree, okay? Fine. Ready? Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. Time for the annual prison pass. <sighs> and our illustrious uh. cheermeister gets to go first. <sighs> In fact, this year cheermeister is so important to me that I picked the gift out myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wonderful gift of a Christmas shave. This is funny. <laughs> hmm? Hmm?
I hate all of you. Except for you, Martha May. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. And I hate you. I hate you, 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 I hate all of you. Where's Pastor Mike? I hate him. Is that Pastor Gary? I hate you, Pastor Gary. I hate you, Shambu. But most of all, I hate Christmas. <laughs> then the Grinch stood on his mountain, hating the Who's, staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every Who down in Whoville beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings. He snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers, nervously drumming. Hmm. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knew, all the Who girls and boys would wake bright and early, and they'd rush for their toys. Then they'd sing, and they'd laugh, and they'd have holiday cheer. And the more the Grinch thought... I can't deal with it this year. Why, for 53 years, I've put up with it now. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. But how? Then he got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch had a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what I'll do. Max, it's time. Tomorrow, when those who's wake up, they'll have no more lights, and no more trees, no more presents, or any roast beast. With this coat and this hat, I'll look just like St. Nick. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus, and as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. Well, I wouldn't touch you ever. Pretty night and a half and Of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between you, I'd take the seasick crocodile. Yoo-hoo, it's Cindy Woohoo, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, Operation Cheer hasn't gone so well. I think I might have made things worse. I think Operation Cheer might be over. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Peace out. I can't believe it. 
If all the parties and presents and candy won't make Mr. Grinch happy, then nothing will. Oh, Cindy, I know you've been so sad about the Grinch, but I brought someone who I think might cheer you up. This is Pastor Who. Well, hello, Cindy Lou. What's the matter? If all the wonderful things about Christmas won't make Mr. Grinch happy, then what can? You mean by all the wonderful things about Christmas, the presents, right? Yes, sir. And I'm sure you mean the cookies and the songs and the lights and the movies and the parties and the hubilation too. Yes, and don't forget the roast beast. Oh, who could ever forget about the roast beast? But you know, Cindy Lou, that's not really what Christmas, even how wonderful those are, that's not what Christmas is truly about. They're not? No. It's about celebrating the birth of the Lord Jesus. Who's that? Well, Jesus is the Son of God, God himself, who came into our world to save us from our sin. Sin? What's that? Hmm, that's a very good question, Cindy Lou. What is sin? Well, sin is all the bad things that we think and we do. And sin is what ultimately makes us unhappy. You know, Cindy Lou, the Grinch isn't unhappy because he hasn't been around presents and lights and Christmas parties. He's unhappy because of his sin and others who have sinned against him. That's why the birth of Jesus is such a big deal. Because Jesus came into our world to take away our sin. And by doing that, he helped us because sin separates us from God and from one another. But Jesus came, die on a cross, so that we could be free and forgiven from our sin. And that's what makes us happy? Oh, absolutely. It's a wonderful thing to be living in the freedom and the forgiveness that Jesus came to bring us. In fact, that's the greatest gift we could ever receive. And you see, Cindy Lou, that's why this time of year is such a big celebration. You know, the lights and the presents and the concerts and the feasts because Jesus came into the world to save us. Can you tell me more about Jesus? Of course I can. Give me a hand, Max. There you go. That's a good girl. Okay. Let's go. Whoa. Well, Max, we did it. Woo! Now everybody can be just as miserable as you and me. <laughs> Max, we should wallow in our pain and misery every year. I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not you again. Well, you can forget it, Missy. You're not getting your presents back. You want to know why? Because you liked me. You told me that being cheermeister would be great. You just wanted to humiliate me. You and all those other sniveling goos. Well, who's laughing now? <laughs> I'm sorry, Oh, Ms. how I wish I could have seen the look on your face. Boo-hoo, I'm Cindy Lou. Where did all my presents go? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I need to tell you something. Mm, oh, give it up, kid. I'll tell you something. There's no greater Christmas gift than sweet revenge. I think I'll give myself that gift every year. It looks good on me. Mr. Grinch, 
you're unhappy because you're never free, set free from your sin. Jesus can do that for you. Hold on a minute. Jesus? Jesus who? Hey, was that a who? He's not a who. He's the son of God. The son of God? No, hold. You mean, you mean that, that big who up in the sky? Well, he's also not a who, but yes, that's what it is. Whoa, the son of God. That's, that's quite a gig. Cindy, would you tell me more about this Jesus guy? The story of Christmas. One day, an angel came to visit Mary. The angel wanted to tell Mary something important, that she was going to have a baby. <laughs> but it was a very special baby. Because God was going to give her the baby, she was going to get married to a man, Joseph. And he has a green shirt. So they had to pack up to go to Bethlehem. They got on a donkey named um, Seesaw. <laughs> When they got to Bethlehem, there were a lot of people there. He's telling them, do you have any room? Nope. No room. So they were sitting with the cow and the lambs and the birds and a horse. They were in, I forgot what it's called. Oh, the stable. Mary and Joseph had to get ready for the baby. Making a cradle. The baby's born, and angels came. They talked to the shepherds, and they said that, come to the manger. And they followed the star to go to the manger. Star. Guys walking on camels, and they look at wise men. And they saw this big, bright star in the sky. So they decided to follow it. They were bringing presents to the baby. And when they got there, they saw baby Jesus there. They were giving gifts to Jesus for his birthday. I give gifts to people when it's Jesus' birthday. Happy birthday, Jesus. You know, the Grinch once famously said, maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. You know, the Grinch taught, or Cindy Lou taught the Grinch a valuable lesson this Christmas season. You see, the Grinch always assumed that joy and hope and peace and comfort and all these things we talk about at Christmas, he always assumed they came from things like presents and the meals and the lights and the decorations. And that's why he stole those things. He believed that if he stole that stuff, that he would steal the joy that the Who's found during this season. But Cindy Lou taught the Grinch that Christmas is about so much more. Maybe this Christmas season you find yourself searching for those things. You're searching for joy and hope and peace and comfort. And you think, maybe if I can just have the perfect lights on my roof, I'm going to line them up just right with those annoying clips that I have to put every six inches. You know what I'm talking about. And the icicle lights that twinkle. Maybe if I have the perfect lights, maybe if I have the perfect gathering with family and friends, maybe if I find the perfect gift, then I will truly find joy and hope and peace this Christmas season. You know, you'll find some joy in those things, but that joy won't last forever. But there is something you can find this Christmas, someone you can encounter and find and be in relationship with that will change not only your Christmas season, but will shape your eternity. And that person is Jesus. And friends, whether you believe it or acknowledge it tonight, he's the reason you're in this place. Because if Jesus hadn't been born, 
in a manger. The King of kings and Lord of lords, if he had not humbled himself to come and to be born in a manger, you would not be in this building tonight. He is the reason for the season. And he is the true source of joy and hope and peace, whether you believe that or not. And today, maybe you've been chasing after those things in a million other places. I'm telling you, to look no further, because Jesus came, and he was born in a manger, and he lived and ultimately gave his life up willingly so that you might be forever changed, so that the guilt and the shame that you may have walked into this place with today might be lifted from your shoulders, and you might be forgiven. Jesus has changed the world. If you believe today, like the Grinch and Cindy Lou, that Jesus died for you, then your forever will be changed too. Let's find out what happens next when the Grinch realizes what Jesus has done for him. That's who Jesus is. He loves us and he saved us from our sins. Oh. Hold on a minute. Are they dancing? But I stole their Christmas from them. It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. They're singing because Christmas isn't all about that. It's about Jesus. Oh, I guess you're right. And Mr. Grinch, Jesus loves you too. And then, well, in Whoville, they say, that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And then the true meaning of Christmas came through, and the Grinch found the peace of ten Grinches plus two. Whoa. Whoa. Cindy, I, I've made a huge mistake. I, I need to get back to Whoville, and I need to return everybody's presents. I need to wish them a Merry Christmas. And I also need to tell them that Jesus loves them too. Cindy, will yes. you please help me? Of course I can. Great. Let's go. Sure. Oh, Cindy? Yes? What's the name of this church? Uh, Cross Point? Cross Point, okay. Merry Christmas, Cross Point! <laughs> Hang on a minute. Are you celebrating without me? It's joyful and triumphant. I love it. <laughs> um, who will want to apologize? I'm very sorry. You see, I, I've just learned the meaning, the true meaning of Christmas. And if you find it in your heart, I'd like to ask if you would celebrate with me. You will? Of course. Of course, of course. Come great. on, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Mayor Juliani, come here. <laughs> Martha May. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My pastor told me about Jesus and that he is the one who brings happiness. And I told the Grinch about Jesus and he was finally happy. In fact, he returned all the presents and even carved the roast beast. I want to let you know that Jesus loves you too. No matter who you are or what you've done, Jesus gave his life so you could be free from sin, just like Mr. Grinch. Merry Christmas, peace out. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Peace out.
Cindy, there you are. Are you still making those Hoot Tube videos? Come on, Cindy, it's time for dinner. I'm starving. Yeah, <laughs> come on, Cindy. It's time to call the roast beef. <gasps> come, come on over here, everyone. Let's take a photo. Say cheese. 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 Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mr. Grinch had a wonderful change of heart. And thanks to Jesus, his life became a work of art. So to all who have joined us here on this day, we say cheer to all the who's far and near. With Jesus in your life, you have nothing to fear. Christmas Day will always be here because the love of Jesus will always be near. And that's the true story of how the Grinch found Jesus. Thanks for tuning in to the Cindy Lou Podcast. Peace out.